Hey, Sally DeCessory here, and I am just going to read for you what is in the notes next, in the uh, description of this video, um, because I want you to have both opportunities to hear it and to read it. And when you have it on the list there, you won't have to take any notes. So these are supplements or ways of supporting yourself when you have bruxism or tooth grinding, which can be a part of discomfort that you're having in your jaw joint. Alrighty, um, bruxism can cause that clenching. It can cause pain, um, tooth pain. It can cause tooth wear, tooth breakage. It can cause headaches. It can create that tension down your neck. So it can be the central part of a lot of other issues that are going on. It can exacerbate other issues. So um, bruxism is actually tooth grinding. It's just the fancy word for it. Um, bruxism may be due to an inappropriate bite emotional stress or physical discomfort. So that is also a way to look at it when you are thinking of how you want to treat the issue that you have. These support tools may be beneficial, but if it's a structural issue, you may need to look into orthodontics or some sort of bite plate, a night guard of some sort, or even um, open, um, oh, how do we say this? Like growth, <laughs> putting your body through its growth stage again. Um, and there are ways to do that now. So it's very cool. Um, so first we'll look at essential oils that are supportive for bruxism and they're very relaxing oils. You've got valerian and valerian's rather stinky, smells kind of like stinky feet. Uh, yet it's been touted as one of the best um, relaxers. And then we have the lavender essential oil that you can smell. You can use it topically. You can use lavender oil neat. You do not need to mix it with any carrier oil because it is so gentle and so supportive. But you will still get a benefit if you put 10 drops of oil to 10 drops of the carrier oil and that will help um, stretch out your oil and also you'll still get the benefit. And you would use it topically wherever you're noticing your discomfort. You would smell it, put, drop a little in your hands and take a nice smell of it. You could rub it on your feet. Your ears also have emotional points so you can rub it all around in your ears. I'm not, you're not pouring it into your ear, you're rubbing it around the outside, okay? Another oil that's really, really helpful um, for relaxation and bruxism and is um, Roman chamomile. Now, Roman chamomile is super expensive, so you definitely want to use it in a carrier oil, but you would use it in the same way that you use um, the lavender and the valerian. Um, when you think of reflexology, uh, think of your foot with the arch of your foot being a um, your spine. So if you're gonna be using essential oils on your feet, a really good place to focus is on, you know, where the ball of your big toe, then underneath that, that neck of your big toe that connects it to your foot. And, your, and so that little bendy area in between the ball and, and the foot, um, and the ball of your foot is the, your neck. So think of that when you're thinking of where you are focusing the essential oil, although you may use it everywhere. Uh, you might also be interested in another class that I have that's uh, essential oils for emotional well-being. So if you realize that a lot of your bruxism is from stress and you really like the idea of essential oils, there are other opportunities for you right here in this, um, in this webpage. 
Um, so you will use those essential oils morning and night and as often as you feel you need them during the day. There's a folk remedy and it's oats. So if you're going to be doing oats, um, like oatmeal, right, you do want to get the unhulled oats. So you would need to either order those specially through a health food distributor or go to some sort of really um, authentic health food store or organic market that is going to have that kind of whole oats that are not hulled. They're not flat, they actually look like a grain. And uh, those kind of oats have um, thiamine and pan pantothenic acid, which are gentle nerve tonics. So you wanna add oats to your um, daily diet. Flower essences are most beneficial if it's an emotional cause for grinding. So elm, if you are, have anxiety with a feeling of inability to cope. Red chestnut for anxiety over the welfare of others. So if you're an empath and you're really stressed out, or if your family members are not doing well or ill or in some sort of uh, just stress. Red chestnut may be the one that will help you. And aspen is for anxiety for no apparent reason. And then when it comes to herbalism, you may want to make a cup of tea with either skullcap or valerian and drink a cup up to three times a day. So as you may know, all of the things mentioned, you should be able to find as a herbal tincture, and you can use those in the same way with uh, 40 drops in a glass of water during once in the morning, and that can also be soothing. Or maybe at night if you find that it really is a little strong and it really does, I don't want to say sedate you, but bring you down, okay? Thanks for popping in. Enjoy your bonus.